Hi guys, my name is Lana and welcome to the Humphreys Live Tour. I'm the conference ambassador this summer. All right, we're gonna start off this way. Also, as always, say hi to our cameraman. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, my name is Henry. I'm gonna be the cameraman for today. Um, so be sure to let us know if you have any questions and I'll be sure to ask a lot of them. And also let us know where you're tuning in from, like city and state. All right, so I'm gonna start you guys off with our front desk. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna be the front desk area. This is where you guys are gonna handle packages. If you wanna get things like your pots and pans, um, things for the pool table, stuff like that, you're gonna come over here to the front desk. Gotcha. Uh, and there's really someone stationed there. It's about like eight-ish. 10 p.m., yeah. yeah. And then these are going to be your mailboxes situations. Um, your mailbox information is actually already accessible to you on the Star Res, like mm -hmm. the housing portals where you guys put out your housing contracts. Mm -hmm. You'll find the information for your mailbox, including the password and which one that you have. Gotcha. So we have some people tuned in from various places. Yeah, we have a lot of people. A lot of people from Texas. We have Rockwall. Where are you and, from? And Frisco. I'm from Dallas, but actually from Dallas, not like a. Not like from a, a suburb of Dallas? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, I'm from, I'm from Dallas. Yeah. Let's see, is she really? Yeah. Then we're going to say hello to, uh, sorry. Oh. oh. She's coming from the other way. <laughs> this is like. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jasmine. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Jasmine. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. I am the CRE for Humphreys Hall, having served as a CRE position for about three years now for the U of A. Gotcha. Could you explain what a CRE is? Oh, CRE is the supervisor of the RAs. So I'm an embedded full-time supervisor of the building and the staff. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much. Sorry, we didn't mean to catch you off guard. No, you're fine. <laughs> like, we are, <laughs> yeah, we are going to continue on with the conference room. All right, so. next time, thank you guys. We'll, we'll, show, the the conference room. Room. we'll show the conference room really quick. All good. Yeah. All good. Yeah. All right, this is going to be one of the study rooms that you guys are going to so like a little common space for you guys to come in, like study for exams, test, or we just hang out, do movie nights, something like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Go this way. Now we're going to go to Camel Cafe. The Camel Cafe. Um, and that room is reservable. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is go and talk to you, fill out the form if you have an exam. Mm -hmm. But you get a quiet place where that room is reservable. Awesome. All right, so this is the Camel Cafe. And I'm going to let Henry take over explaining this. Place. Yeah, for sure. So I actually used to be the, um, the SRA of Humphrey, so I know a little bit about it. This is where I would usually hang out and do my office hours. But this is just a great place to, um, to study and hang out with your friends and just a nice, nice, quiet place. And there's also a Keurig with some coffee in here and then some, uh, like a small library um, and then art that students have made. That's student art. Yes. That's student art. Which one do we like the most? I like calling crazy a lot. Pine or hedgehog, yeah. maybe. I, I would like say the handprints. The handprints. Yeah, are lovely. Gotcha. I would say I, I like the I like the butterfly. I'm, I'm basic. Butterfly reminds me of my tattoo, so I mm -hmm. like the butterfly. Yeah. And then I know we got a question earlier. So moms can send packages and kids can receive packages from Amazon, etc. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the um, not the, prior to moving. Yeah, yeah, not not prior to move in, but after that, um, you can find the uh, the specific uh, mailing address of Humphreys by going to uh, the the website and the housing can, website. yeah, the housing website, and um, it'll tell you uh, the address where you can send packages at. So where are we going to next? All right, this is going to be your greater space or a common hangout space, or you guys the want great to call room. It. Uh, the great room. Mm -hmm. or the green room, or the green room. Mm -hmm. I don't think of it as a multicolored room that can do whatever it wants. Yeah. Um, you guys can come in here, they normally come in here, watch movies, play cards. There's ping pong, a pool table, and a piano mm -hmm. over here. As and well. a foosball table. And a foosball table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is one of the greater spaces. It's a very nice hangout space yeah. for students. Let's go over here and see, see more of what's on this side. And as mentioned before, for the pool table, if you guys want to get the pool sticks for them, you'll just go to the front desk. Gotcha. And so before we head downstairs, I believe there's a kitchen um, further over here, right? It is. So what are you studying, Lana? Uh, I'm a communication major with a minor in theater as of right now, but that might change soon. Gotcha. All right, so this is going to be the kitchen area. Um, you guys are going to be able to here come in, come in here, cook food, bake food, do whatever you want with the food. Um, mm -hmm. You guys will be able to rent out the pots and pans from front desk, as we said. And by rent out, I really just mean check them out. Mm -hmm. As well as a communal fridge space. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say this is definitely communal, so keep your names on things. Or if yeah. you have a mini fridge, just yeah. there. Definitely label it. If you don't label it, then it's everyone's. Then it's open field. Mm -hmm. 
And we just got a question. Um, I was assigned to one of the overflow rooms. Uh, are you going to show what those look like today? And I don't believe we Unfortunately, are. Unfortunately, we are not going to show that space today. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jasminej at uark about any questions or measurements you may have about that space. Gotcha. Thank you, Jasmine. And then we can take the elevator down to the uh, the basement. Check the stairs. Please take stairs. Stairs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you? Uh, oh, I was just I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for our for our freshmen, Lana? Um, so I have to give you guys, especially in conference halls, it's going to be one big community for you guys. Mm -hmm. Out of all the dorms that I've been in, half the ones I live in, this is one of the ones that truly does give you a sense of community. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be great, just branching out and talking to people. So if you take a class that seems idiotic just because you love to do it or just you don't yeah. do what you normally do. Gotcha. Uh, these are going to be our rockers and dryer spaces, and the laundry room. Uh, so we changed the laundry this year, being that now there's going to be an app you guys can download mm -hmm. that'll give you uh, information. But basically, we're not winning a two wash per week rule, so you're going to get two washes, two dries every week. There's a certain credit level. I can't remember the exact amount, but I do know if you go over, it's about like a dollar, dollar fifty. Yeah. So the the app is called Speed Queen, and every time you use a washer or dry, um, after that, um, it'll be a dollar fifty to pay for it. I gotcha. All right. And there's also a TV in here for you to watch shows and while you're and an ice machine. Yeah. No, we're not. I'm not gonna show you guys, but this dorm is home to one of my favorite things ever, which is the leadership closet. So if any of you guys ever do any sort of leadership, the closets in here, and I have mm -hmm. so much RIC like swag. Mm -hmm. It's not even funny. <laughs> What's your favorite piece of RIC swag? And what is RIC? Uh, Resident Interhall Congress. You're the voice of the on-campus student. Uh -huh. I know that one from heart. Uh, basically, think of RIC as like a student government for the dorms almost. Basically, we get together every Monday and we, both, we put together bills that maybe I want to get like a new pool table for my dorm. Or maybe I want to like uh, throw like an event for my dorm. You would go to RIC, put together a bill that has funding and basically present it to us and we will vote on it before talking about it with our lead hogs. Uh, it's just like a way to get involved in like really how dorm life is. I highly recommend it. I loved RIC. Um, shameless plug, that is, if you had the Pick One initiative that is happening, that is housing Pick One. So if you're interested in joining RIC, which is in conjunction to Lee Hogs, then Alana gave a great explanation of what that is. Also, you get a really nice sweatshirt that says uh, Resident Interhall Congress, voice of the on-campus student, and it's super cozy. Oh, I'm sold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to be one of the classroom spaces. They just waxed the floor, so we can't take you fully mm -hmm. in, but this will just be like... Kind of another hang space almost. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to study because usually there's, you can see there's some tables back there that'll be set up. Um, and so it's a good place to study. It's also where the lead hog meetings happen. Yeah. My we, we have a couple questions. Yeah, we actually have mm -hmm. uh, a few. Let me scroll up because I think I missed one. Uh, um, I've watched several videos on YouTube. Is there a place to review the floor plans for each floor? Like, for example, will 427 have a built in desk or will it be full length drawers? Um, all measurements are going to be online, so if you mm -hmm. haven't went to the UARC housing and picked Humphreys, that has a lot of our measurements and how our furniture is placed in that room. Um, but once we go into a room, you'll see that it is the exact same in every room. So if you're asking about built-in furniture, you can expect to what you see in that space is going to be the same for your room. Gotcha. I don't think there are any rooms in here with, with all movable furniture now. It's all mm -hmm. built. It's, it's most awesome. of it's built. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the beds, I think, are movable. Yeah. Other parts are. Next question is, um, and Christopher, you may know the answer to this, is that $1.50 to wash and $1.50 to dry or $1.50 total? It's for each. Each? I think it's for each yeah. usage. Gotcha. So okay. It is the wash. The wash is $150 and the dryer is $150. So a total cycle mm -hmm. is $3. Gotcha. Um, but we think that if we give you two per week, well, two washes, two dries per week, yeah. that According to our statistics, that should cover what you need. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I never really had to do more than, than that in a week. Yeah. No, well, no comment. <laughs> no comment? Yeah. So, do you wash a lot? Mm -hmm. Are you one to do you wash like every day? No, dear God, uh, my mom uh, actually like, come mm -hmm. drive to Arkansas mm -hmm. and you have me wasting water. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go see one of the rooms, and when we get into the elevator, we may lose a little bit of connection, but just bear with us. But like I said, the community here is absolutely great. I didn't live in Oakfreeze, but I had a couple friends who did. I remember one night just coming and hanging out, and we ended up playing, like, Mafia down here at, mm -hmm. like, 3 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Just, like, it's really fun things like that. It is a great community, Humphreys. 
and like I've like I've been to all the other dorms, and this one really prides itself on like being a family. I think our traditional halls of Humphreys and Yoakum, which are high rises, mm -hmm. just have a lot of wonderful floor culture mm -hmm. where the doors are open mm -hmm. and people know each other really well. Yeah, is that true? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. And we just had another question. So the two washes are included and you only pay for beyond two per week and that's correct. So you pay um, you pay additionally uh, beyond the two washes it dries. I'm hoping they'll send out like an email about that soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, when they download the app, it should give them, give them the instructions. Gotcha. Oh, you can talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So these for you guys who have like the overflow rooms, of course I can't take you in, but these are like thrown anywhere that we place. Uh, covers over the glass so like no one can actually see you so total sense of privacy uh, mm -hmm. except course, we can't go in there but they're normally located on this side or on that side of the halls okay so it's mm -hmm. on this side thank you gotcha. all right now i think you'll show us a bathroom right yes yeah and there's a water bottle refilling station on every floor as well as trash chutes mm -hmm. the trash chutes yes and please because my dorm didn't have trash chutes yeah to, like, them out. Lana, can you put cardboard in the trash chute or no? No. Yeah, that's a big no-no. <laughs> you know how big of a no-no it is? Even I know that. And again, I didn't have a trash chute. <laughs> All right, so this is a bathroom. This is a lovely bathroom. Uh, so Humphreys Hall actually has curtains mm -hmm. for privacy in the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. But these are... So there's two okay. showers. And there's four of these bathrooms on each floor? Yes. Gotcha. And then there are so two toilets, two stalls, two a two a bathroom, and two showers. Gotcha. And trash only in the trash room. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. So now we'll go to nine twenty one for a tour of the room. One of the great things about the ninth floor is no matter what room you in, your view is going to be spectacular. Like, look mm -hmm. at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Nice. You can see the stadium from there. Can't you? you can see the, you can see the stadium. See practice field. And I think if we go on the other side, we. Yeah, you can see. The, baseball field. Yeah, the, the track field, but Walton. So, yeah. And we had another question come in. So, those overflow rooms are normally study rooms? Yes. Right. Yes, yeah. All, All right, right, guys. And here's what everyone's been waiting for. These are what your rooms are going to look like. Gotcha. And pretty much every room looks the same with like a couple of rooms being different, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is the ninth floor. Let me know if you guys want measurements taken, any questions about it. Mm -hmm. Help you guys out. Yeah, so. Besides the bed, three, bed frame, everything is built in. Yeah, and you can actually raise the bed, so if you don't want them to be this low, these little notches, mm -hmm. you guys can move the beds up. And if you want to do that, you can either do it yourself by requesting a soft mallet from the desk or putting in a maintenance request that you were about to fix it. Mm -hmm. They'll come in. You can actually do that before you move in, too. So if you're like, hey, I kind of want my bed to, like, I don't know, this length before you move in, you would just put in, like, the correct information, your room number, your name, contact, all of that, and maintenance will come in here and raise it up for you. And as you can see, they get pretty high. Yeah, how high is that? What's the highest it can go? Uh, no clue. That's about right. If you're five foot, because I'm five. I'm five two. Yeah. Five yeah, well, two and a half, five yeah, three. Move it, uh, move it, it down. Oh, that's just going to measure between you. Yeah. Right. Right yeah, wait, wait, wait. So move it. Move it down like uh, like so this way, yes, yeah, to yeah. the floor. There you go. Yes, I am geology, uh, not geology. 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 There you As go. you guys can see, that that liberal arts degree, mm -hmm. it's it's much necessary. Six feet. Six feet. Gotcha. And these will go all the way down to three inches. You can mount it. You really need your bed that down. low. You really want to go super low, mm -hmm. all the way up to seventy-one. Gotcha. And there are three the the um, little wedges, the notches are three inches apart. And the beds are two different, the mattresses are two different lengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is 75 inches, this is 80 inches. Mm -hmm. So we call that window side and we call this door side. Gotcha. Uh, for sheet purposes, it's um, twin XL. long or extra long. Gotcha. I always say twin XL just because it, it better have something a little bit too big but something too small, you know? So we've got, um, got some questions coming in. Jasmine, this is one is for you. Okay. How many floors are there and how many students per floor? Um, there are nine floors, and there's on average 54, <laughs> but with the overflow happening, uh, ours can get anywhere from 56 to 60. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit weird this year just because yes. we have so many students, and that's kind of... Typical capacity is 430 students. Uh, for total, yeah. So, um, and that kind of explains our next question. So, no study rooms anymore um, in Humphreys, mm -hmm. at least on the on the floors themselves. On the floors, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's study spaces on the on the first floor and ground floor. Mm -hmm. Though I can almost guarantee you, when your midterms and exams will come around, someone's room will turn into a study room. Yeah. Y'all will have music playing, coffee mm -hmm. brewing, and just. Yeah. So, next question: Can you measure from the desk to the top of the first shelf? Uh, which desk do you look at? 
So the, the, the desk. There is a lip. Mm -hmm. probably, um, yeah. four also, inches, three inches. also, there is a lights underneath here, uh, two lights actually. So without like the little, mm -hmm. I measure right it here. with. I measure it with the lip okay. first, and then without mm -hmm. the lip. It's a day of measurements. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, so that looks to be about ten inches right here. Ten, ten inches, and then without the lip. Do we get not on the light? Mm hmm. Uh, it's about a foot. About a foot. Gotcha. So, two inches, two and a half inches of yeah. the right there. So, uh, next question, is the bed near the door a regular twin? Um, and I think you said so sheets would fit. XL. Yeah, so, XL. gotcha. Also, uh, it's worth mentioning, I forgot to mention it a little bit earlier, but this dorm is right uh, across from 1021, as well as for any of you business majors, you're mm -hmm. literally right across from um, Walton, which is the business college, a lot of class will be there, as well mm -hmm. as Campbell. Gotcha. So Excellent great. location. It's a great location. I have a lot of classes in Kimball, so Central Campus is like. Mm -hmm. um, for those asking about left and right or window versus door, um, we do. We're on a first come, first serve basis when mm -hmm. you move in. So if you bought things for the XL bed and your roommate gets here first and they take that side, like you might want to talk to your roommate beforehand so you know where you're buying, so you know. Hey, I'm gonna take the door side, you take the window instead of getting your hopes up linking, oh I'm gonna get the XL bed and your roommate gets here first. So yeah. I would definitely start having those conversations. Because gotcha. sometimes I will sacrifice a bigger bed just not to go the window yeah. because mm -hmm. me this is a great view, but I would hate to wake up this close to the sun. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just like wake up and see yeah. see the, the I don't nice want to view. Wake up until like two in the afternoon. Uh -huh. nice, so. <laughs> All right, can you lift the bed up to get a rug uh, rug under it? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can lift up this bed to the mini fridge. I have mm -hmm. people like do TVs under their beds. Yeah, it's definitely definitely movable. Yeah. Um, and this was next question was: Are both beds the same length, or is one a twin XL? So both of them are twin XLs, but this one's eighty five inches. Yes. So this one's eighty five inches, and 80, the one 80, 80, 80, 80 inches 70, for the seventy five for this one. And about seven and a half inches tall. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Like this is about seven. Gotcha. Next question is, uh, what is the height of the room, floor to ceiling measurement? So you can just put the measure on the ground. Eight feet. Eight feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we still have more bed questions. Is the XL by the door? Yes. So, yeah, gotcha. If we're 427A, is that the longer twin bed or shorter? Um, and that's kind of what you said again, like it's just kind of a first yeah, room. So yeah, it, sure. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's just how we log it in our system. And so, if, like, talk to your roommate. If you want the door side, ask for it. If not, they get here first, they can snag it. Gotcha. So, and again, we're getting more questions about that. Longer bed is near the door, and the uh, smaller one is by the window. Yes. Um, and for those of you who are asking, like, why that is, um, if you've noticed, your HVAC vent is over there, and so the shorter bed is over there to help the room from being humid and to cut out some of that um, moisture and, like, potential mold <laughs> problem. Mm -hmm. So that's why the shorter bed is by the window for HVAC ventilation purposes. Gotcha. You kind of, like, get a really sick the counter space, which mm -hmm. is nice. And then two people... We, we just have a lot of a lot of bed questions today. Um, so two people said that they, that they read online that the XL is by the window. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's um, measure these. I'm not sure that we're... Let's, let's measure these. It's definitely bigger. Yeah. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's measure, measure just to make sure. Yeah. 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 Guys, I'm becoming a last You're a wizard. It says a half. <laughs> six and a half. Yeah, yeah, six and a half. So what would that be? Six and a half. That would be um, 72 inches plus um, six. That'd be 78 around. So, 78, which which make which makes sense because if that'd be 80, you know, there's. Yeah, we like, call that approximately 80. Yeah. So and then this one. This one would be a little bit easier to do. I'll spot it. Yeah. And he keeps wanting to go to the bed post. Here, is there that easier? Go. Yeah, okay. So hold this for me. I will. Sure will. Sure will. That one is about 16. 
Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. Okay. So that's seventy-two inches. So. So let me make sure that that's. It may be an inaccuracy on our website. So yeah. Let me just check and see. Yeah, so um, again, just to clarify, because I know there's a lot of questions, bed uh, closer to the wall by the door is uh, around 80 inches, around 78. The one uh, by the window is shorter and is around 75, 72 inches. And it, and it looks like the uh, Humphreys said, uh, what it says on the website, the move-in website, is inaccurate. The door side and the webs and the window side are, are reversed, so okay. we'll get that correct. Gotcha. Okay. All right, thanks for bearing with us. Uh, uh, with us about that, y'all. Um, in the meantime, let us know your other questions about the room or about Humphreys. And uh, Lana, do you want to talk about A-Week? Oh, yes. A-Week is great week. It's the week right before classes, so about the time everyone's moved in, it'll start A-Week. Basically, it's like a giant welcome week all over campus. You're going to get information about clubs. You know, it's already seen. Um, you're going to get information about the student act like activities. There's a big cardinal night at the end of the week. Uh, one of the things that they did that I participated in was actually like if you're part of like Kemple or Walton or like all the other colleges, they actually go around and show you like where most of the buildings that you're going to be in is. So I, like I got to tour Old Main, I got to see Kemple, things like that, which was really, really cool. Uh, a week is just great. You're going to meet a lot of people outside of your dorm, become friends with them because the dorm, your dorm friends are going to be great, but I do recommend like getting to go see those other ones. Like I stayed either in this dorm, Holcomb or Gregson for most of the school year. And the Holcomb is nowhere near my dorm. Gotcha. Yeah, a week is absolutely amazing. I suggest everyone come and partake in it. I suggest everyone pick up a club. Again, R I C. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep shamelessly plugging it. I did it. And no, it's definitely absolutely do. Absolutely great. Like it gives you a like a sense of pride because you like truly really get a say in like things that happen in the dorms. It gives you like that feel of being in a leadership position. It's just it's amazing. I will literally plug it all day. All right, next question. Where do students normally put the mini fridge? Um, um, I know from like students I know it's normally under their bed. They normally raise their bed up to do it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the closet, but I don't really see people do the closet. Yeah, I would say lofting it um, below your bed is, is typically the, the best bet. Um, so a lot of people just kind of like a little bed under bed type situation where it's like, I had a reading space under mine, so I, mm -hmm. I can work my entire thing. Mm -hmm. I got it so I can yeah. do all of that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, as someone um, who lived in Humphreys, that's where I had my, was underneath my bed. Next question is, can you measure from the top of the bed on the wood part to the ceiling? So, so the bed the bed frame to the ceiling. Totally can't, because I'm super tall, guys. Two feet. Gotcha. Next question, how many elevators are there? There are two. Gotcha. And another question is, are we allowed to bring irons? Like a flat, like an iron iron? I guess, yeah, like a flat iron, I guess, to, to iron well, clothes. A, that's what yeah, I, a clothing yeah. iron? Yeah, yeah, yeah clothing iron. <laughs> so like a flat iron, like a heavy iron? Yeah, 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 yeah gotcha. Are. Yeah. What kind of uh, lock boxes are recommended or most popular? Would you have done a lot of, I never Is had a lock like box. security things? I guess. Um, like yeah. just, what I had, actually, it's not really a lock box, but I have, I, I'm an avid reader, so I have a lot of books on my shelf. I actually have, like, a book lock. Mm -hmm. So like it looks like a book, like a regular book, but it's actually like a little lock inside. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. Uh, that's pretty much all I know that I use. I kind of just use that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's very passionate. I wouldn't bring anything too massive just for uh, space purposes, uh, saving space. So probably like anything that can fit in this top drawer. Um, a lock box. I think don't bring anything mm -hmm. bigger than this for storage purposes. Gotcha. Um, and the person said, like, a clothes iron. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I said flat iron. I was like, I was trying to think <laughs> no, of this. Honestly, I'm not with flat iron. I was like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and they, when they were talking about the lock boxes, they were saying, like, to lock your laptop in. Oh, um, yeah. I, I kind of just use that. Yeah. I trust my roommate wholeheartedly. Yeah. That may not be everyone's case. Mm -hmm. What I would say is, uh, anything that you have that, like, you're truly concerned about, keep it close to heart. It's like, if I had a laptop, it'd be right by my bed, or like mm -hmm. if I was by this window, I'd keep it right there by the window. Yeah. Things that's like you would know if someone like got close to Yeah. You. Gotcha. And then another question we had, um, and Christopher, I don't know if you could do this. Um, someone mentioned about maybe like double checking another room to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it. Double checking? For the, for the, uh, the beds, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. potentially it was moved, but I guess, because is the bed frame also the same size or the is it different? The bed frames are the same size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's just the mattresses. I saw linens all throughout this dorm. I, I, think, we just, I think we just confirmed. Yeah, yeah, that they're by the door. Gotcha. And they should be by the door because of the explanation I gave with yeah. the man. Gotcha. 
All right. Next question. The individual doors, uh, do they lock? Yeah. Um, and the, um, they uh, don't lock by themselves. You have no. to lock them from the They're outside. They lock out yeah. totally hard unless your mate locks you up. Inside, mm -hmm. there's a lock, and then you have to lock it with the key from the outside. Mm -hmm. Another question we have, is this a co-ed dorm? Yes. Gotcha. Next question, where do most people put their mini fridge and microwave in this room under the beds? The microwave, um, depending on how tall, I'd say like up here, up here. Yeah. So we, I'm gonna be like, there's an easy outlet. Yeah, this, um, yeah, because there's outlets over there. Put it over here. Well, let me see it's perfect. There, it's right uh, the way. Mm -hmm. They would normally stick them in the window because there's a secret plug right on the other side of their closet. Oh, neat. And then uh, uh, someone just asked, didn't catch what building you were in, and we are in Humphreys right now. <laughs> yes, we are. This is a tour of Humphreys Hall. Mm -hmm. Home of the sacred camels. Yeah. Uh, next question. Which floors are co-ed? Um, they're mixed. Mm -hmm. Off the top of my head. Uh, I also think I know if, uh, like, unless, do you know if it's changed? No, it shouldn't have changed. Though. Okay, gotcha. Last year. Yeah. So, third floor was mm -hmm. girls. There are yes. single girl spaces. There are multiple male single floors. Mm -hmm. Um, Henry help me out. Yeah, so I can I think <laughs> yeah. I, I think I can remember <laughs> if I get this maneuvered around. So uh second floor is all guys. Um this is assuming that it's the same as last year. Second floor is all guys, third floor is mostly uh girls except there's one uh corner which is um uh, which is a male uh corner. So there's three bathrooms that are female, one bathroom that is male. Um fourth floor is co ed, fifth floor is all girls, sixth floor is all boys, seventh floor is co ed. Yeah. Eighth floor is all boys, and the ninth floor is is, is co-ed. Co yeah. Can we get like an emoji hand clap for the yeah. members? <laughs> right there. I was <laughs> really nervous. I was like, uh, I think I that's right. Like, yeah. So one floor has guys. Yeah. Another floor probably has It's girls. just yeah. You'll find out when you move in. But yeah, I'm, that that is accurate. That is that that memory. Not. <laughs> it's just all the all the useless information <laughs> stuck in my head from being an RA. Humphrey's rounds. Uh huh. All right. Can you show that extra area by the closet and window? It's all right there. Yeah. So there's the the, sec the secret outlet. Do most dorms need cleaning before you move in? No, they are. We we made sure we clean them before uh, y'all get here. I mean, if you want to take extra precaution and wipe things down, you're more than likely. But I say does a really good job of making sure the sanitary level is good for mm -hmm. people. And you'll see ISA Monday through Friday. <laughs> you are. They'll come here in the morning, cleaning. They're great people. What are ISAs? ISA is well, our cleaning <laughs> staff um, that comes in to that we have communal showers. They come in daily to clean the uh, communal showers and communal areas. Uh, they do not clean your room or <laughs> take your trash out. So, or do your laundry. Or do your laundry. <laughs> Um, that's all on you, but they will make sure that communal spaces such as the showers, lobbies, uh, stairwells, things like that are uh, up to par with sanitation. Gotcha. Could you measure from that countertop to the shelf where the mirror is? Right here. So, right here. So the height is... Three feet. Three feet. And why don't we get the, the length and width too? Yeah. That one is going to be five foot ten. Five foot uh, ten and inches. And then you want to do it here. Long. It's about two feet one inches. Two feet one inches. Okay. How do they lift up their beds? Uh, so if you plan on doing it yourself, you would just take a soft mallet, and um, they're just gonna raise it right here mm -hmm. and kind of move it to the notch you want to do, and then pop it down. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to do it by yourself, maybe it does it. And it's a mystical, magical way of doing things. That's a little bit sexy yeah. process. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. I agree what I recommend. If you're someone who you know you're going to want your bed lofted, I would say put in that maintenance request now or like a couple of days before you move in. So it's about some kind of... a couple of days. Mm -hmm. At least a week in advance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> week, week in advance. Yes. Week yeah. in advance. See, oh. I mean, time to work with me. Mm -hmm. So week in advance before you move in, um, just so that you have a desired height and then maybe build from there if you're like, I don't really like it from here. Mm -hmm. But if you're like, oh, I don't like sleeping this low to the ground, then that makes a request. Gotcha. Yeah, the deadline to get in a request every bed loft is uh, the end of the month. Okay. okay. There you go. Thank, thank you these things. I did, I did it myself. <laughs> and if you were going to do it yourself, where could you get a mallet? You were going to go to that lovely front desk that we showed you at the beginning of this tour and be like, hey, can I get a soft mallet? And mm -hmm. then return it when you're done. Gotcha. 
And is it a one person job or a two? Did you do it on your own? No, yeah. actually, yeah. I lied to you guys. I, I did it, mm -hmm. but I did not do it. What happened oh. was my mm -hmm. friend came and did it, like, like de lofted it during move out, mm -hmm. and then my friend lofted it for me for my degree. So, like, oh. technically, I didn't do it, but I was present. I was a moral support team. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was just two people. Um, you can do it with one person, but it's just easier with two. Yeah, more, more the merrier. How many RAs does it take to loft a bed? Not be the same as do it. Uh, someone just mentioned they were talking about uh, Walton Hall. We'll be doing a tour of Walton next Tuesday um, on, I believe that's August second, maybe. But yeah. whatever, whatever next Tuesday is um, at four p.m. Yeah. Walton Hall is great. Yeah. Do uh, most people purchase rugs to make their dorms more cozy? Did you have a rug? Um, I bought a rug later. Uh, yeah, rugs are nice. Carpet space are great. I'm. I normally like the hardwood, but I just kind of have my rug. Like mm. under my bed, things like that. Yeah. But I say anything and everything you do to make this room look comfortable and like personalized to you, do it. Like someone I know who lived here on the third floor, instead of having a TV, just got a projector and put oh, up wow. here with this screen and mm -hmm. it would be nice. Like things like that. Yeah. Personalize it. But yeah, rugs, I recommend. Yeah, I would also definitely recommend it because so this is tile and your feet are going to get cold. You know, at least at least my wood. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Nothing sucks, especially when you wake up and it's like wow, mm -hmm. floor. Yeah. Um, I would take into consideration that the desk protrudes right here. So if you were thinking the rug will go under the desk, it, is, it will not. Yeah, because so it's, it's built in. So the measurement needs to happen from this desk to that desk mm -hmm. um, to ensure that you're not having it folded because you thought it could go under yeah. the desk. Lana, do you mind measuring um, from uh, that part down there by the by the drawers, seeing what the, the length of this is? I don't mind at all. Ooh, wait, oh, that's a little wonky. Let's fix it. That's about seven feet, nine inches. Seven feet, nine inches. Gotcha. Next question. Do extra long sheets and mattress toppers fit on the shorter bed by the window? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like Alana mentioned, like, you rather have too much than not enough. Yeah. Uh, but if you do want that cozier fit, then I would suggest getting, like, a regular twin size. Gotcha. How many total electrical outlets? So let's do, let's do some counts. Two, three, four, five. Five. So one, one behind there. <laughs> Uh, did you count the one behind there? Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. So between six, six and twelve. Is there one behind here? Let me see oh, Chloe, there's one, there's one here. I mean, if you count two. the double, then it's uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. There you go. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Like the oh, okay. It's always weird. It's like okay. cause it's like five outlets, but then it's like a yeah, yeah. yeah. They are there, and if they're not the plugs, outlets, they're extension yeah. cords. Yeah, five outlets, ten plugs. What size of TV do you recommend? All right, Lana, what, what do you um, recommend? Uh, mine, I think my TV is like a 32 inch, not a super big TV, I would say that. Like, big old flat screen. Don't get a big old flat screen. Mm -hmm. um, I, know, I know the urge is there to be like, I'm out of my parents' house, I'm gonna get a flat screen. Don't mm -hmm. do that. It's, yeah. That's a lot of space, like you live in an apartment. 32 inch is a go-to for me just because it's big enough to where like, if you're laying in bed for far away, you can see everything, but it's still small enough that you still have the space for everything else. Mm -hmm. And then shameless plug, Roku TVs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Advertising for Roku. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Next. Up. Next question. Um, and Jasmine, this one you may answer. Can you get bed rails? Um. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you can request them. So all rooms will come with the standard ones, um, mm -hmm. the stabilizers. Uh, but if you loft it so high that you are scared you will fall out, then we do have the ones that like go halfway. Yeah. Um, that you can request. Uh, you are fix it same way gotcha so if you decide like go all the way yeah. all the way up want to want to get those stabilizers can be a stabilizer a step stool mm -hmm. a hope and a prayer <laughs> next question was does walton have bookshelves i think it does but uh, be sure to tune in next week for the walton tour yeah. all right jasmine another question for you okay. what do we do if a tornado comes um every building has a shelter in place and so for us, it will more than likely be go low, go to the restrooms because all of our restrooms are located in the center of the building um, and one of the few places that doesn't have any windows. So when that time comes, your RAs will come get you, let you know, hey, we're going to the third floor. We're going in the east and west uh, restrooms and we will shelter in place. Gotcha. Our group chat's coming to us. What did you say? I said the RA group chat's coming to Oh, yeah. <laughs> be sure to, to join the, the floor group, yeah, please. Yeah. Next one is, what is that open space between the beds and desks for uh, rug area? Um, yeah, you could put a rug here. It's just yeah. kind of an open open space. 
if you're gonna do like this way, it's definitely gonna be with your roommate because color clashes, things like that. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna do like that way, it'd be personal. Yeah, just kind of a general, so that way it's like a general space. Can we bring our own desk chair? Yes, 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 you can, but please be aware that all furniture that comes in the room has to stay in the room. Mm -hmm. um, these are gamer chairs, which means they do um, collapse. And so if you want to bring your own chair, you can, and then break that one down and store it somewhere in the room, you're more than welcome. But all furniture has to stay in this space. Gotcha. Start up there. It's a lot of space. Um, and then someone asked, what size would be best for the area of the rug? So we, what was the measurement from, from here? It was like seven. Seven, around seven feet. It was seven is to change. Seven feet, nine inches. Seven feet, and then could you measure, I guess, from like this bed post, yeah. That's about six feet, ten inches. Six feet, ten inches. I'm going to get center block to center block if they wanted their rug to go across. Yeah. You can maybe put Start your hand over it that way. Go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, me. Stabilize my hand a bit. Yeah, I think it's me. Not coming for all of you guys. <laughs> it's about 14 feet. 14 feet, gotcha. Do you need to bring cables to connect to the cable in the room? No. Nope, oh, it is <laughs> right It is right here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so like focused on answering the questions and then I like uh, like think about them like, oh yeah. Next one is... How do we submit a work request? You were going to go to uark.fixit. Uh, that's like the exact way to do it. But if you can't remember that, just type uark maintenance and then it'll take you to it. Yeah. That'll take you there. That's what I always do. I always do uark, um, uark maintenance just because I always forget uark.fixit. Yeah, I just, I I just type in uark fix it. Yeah. Next question is, can we show the chair? This is it. I do like a spokesperson too. This chair coming equipped with no mm. arms. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Yeah. You've and, say mm -hmm. and like Jasmine said, so this will actually, this will come off. Mm -hmm. um, and so then you kind of get like uh, two seats for one. Because uh, you can technically sit uh, without this part of the chair. Yes, it comes like a rocker on the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are finally um, all up to date on the questions. Um, so um, in the meantime, y'all be sure to let us know if you have any more questions. But Jasmine, is there any advice you want to give uh, to our freshmen? Um, just come with an open mind. Um, don't let anybody else's experience influence your own. So if you're not first gen and you have parents or grandparents who um, attended the U of A or any other school for that matter, um, come in with an open mind for your own experience. Uh, find what makes you happy and find your community. And that is the key to success in my opinion. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, we had two more questions. One was saying, uh, they were asking for the link for UARC Fix It. Um, just type in UARC, U-A-R-K, and then uh, Fix It, um, and then that should get you to the link. Yeah. And someone asked, what floor is this? This and is this the ninth is, floor. This is the ninth floor. Um, but yeah. What about you, Henry? Any life advice? Any life advice? <laughs> um, I don't know. Just put yourself out there. Go to all the events. Go to A Week. A Week is super fun. Be sure to join an organization with so pick RIC. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weehawks. Yeah. And uh, last thing, I said that was the last thing. Two more questions. Do I need to buy a rod? Uh, oh, we, had, we had all the questions coming in the moment I said that. We were <laughs> doing it. All right, no, no, no. all right. Uh, do, do we need to buy a rod for the closet? Um, um, there is an installed rod, but there is space for you to double up if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So there's still space here for you to mm -hmm. get that second rod in. And um, someone was asking about like using a uh, hanging a curtain. I've seen people put um, put like shower rods in the closet and then putting up a curtain so that way they can hide their stuff to be more like a private closet. Um, so you can definitely definitely do that. Then someone asked, how wide is the closet? We didn't get a good size. It's gonna go to school now. It becomes someone who measures things all day. All right, that's about three feet, 10 inches. Three feet, 10 inches wide. And someone just asked, is there a way to find out how our specific room is situated? It's all going to be like this. Yeah. This is, no matter where you're at, this is where your room is, is uh, going to look like. On the other side, is it flipped? It may, it may flip a, a little bit, but it's yeah. like, it's just mirror, mirror yeah. image. And all the furniture is the, is the same. Yeah. It's great thing about these rooms. There's not a lot of mm -hmm. edge up. Um, and then I think this room, someone asked what this room, this is 921. Um, someone said, how do you hang a second rod? I mean, it's just as simple as, like a yeah, rod. tension rod, you shorten it and then extend it into the closet. And then how, yeah. And then how tall is the closet from the bottom to the first shelf? Same as me, 
<laughs> there you go. I feel like when I said, oh, well, you know, we're, we're done with questions, people were like, like all the time. Oh, so, um, Jasmine, how do we get the keys for our room? Um, so when you come for check-in, there will be um, an entire process where you'll get guided um, throughout campus to come over to the shared lot for Holcomb and Humphrey. Yo, Humphreys. Humphreys. Yo, Humphreys. Yo, and Humphreys. Um, and then you'll have RAs directing you inside the building to get your keys um, to check in. So you won't get your keys until it is you that time you sign up to come to move in. So gotcha. Um, directions all that day for move in. Okay, thank you. Movement's fun time. It is a fun I time. I moved in later than like the chaotic part of moving though, so I haven't mm-hmm. got it to avoid. Um, what is happening with the students who have three mo- three roommates assigned to it? Jasmine, could you say your email again? Okay, can you repeat the question? Uh, what is happening with students who have three roommates assigned to it? Um, I'm not sure how that what you mean. What's happening? I, I assume they're talking about the overflow rooms. Okay. Um, it's the overflow rooms. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> like instead of having two roommates, you will have multiple. I mean, just you being one of the other person, you will have multiple people in that space. Um, so they're on every floor. They uh, we've converted all the study rooms into those spaces. Um, we actually have people like not want to leave those spaces because they are a little bit <laughs> bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so if you're concerned about space, it is well equipped it's, with space. It's very, it's <laughs> very <laughs> spacious. It is very um, spacious. So. Trust me, if you have any questions about that room as far as measurements or um, specifics, we are still trying to assign people and move things around. So I'm probably not giving you the answer you actually want. Mm-hmm. But if you email me at jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N-E-J, at uark, uh, dot edu, I'll see if I can get you some answers. Gotcha, is your question like updated on the housing website for like specifically from free to like the Sierra info? One more time. Like, you know, like, on the Humphreys website, it would be, like, the link to the Sierra's email. Is that updated now for you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be updated sooner. Yeah, I agree. Gotcha. And this will be the last question. Uh, do doors lock automatically? How hard and easy is it to lock yourself out? Um, no. The only way you can really get locked out of these dorms is, like, your roommate really locks you out. Yeah. So it's, I've always kind of laughed when, like, Humphreys residents have gotten themselves locked out, because I'm like, how did you do that, you know? It's like, because generally it'll be your roommate locking you out. I locked out at Holcomb, who was in a single room. I don't That's know how that happened. Just <laughs> magical. But, um, that'll do it for today. So, Lana, thank you so much for giving us the tour, and you can sign us out. Hi, my name is Lana. That was the Humphreys tour for today. And if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and email either Jasmine or the York or the housing office. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.